Alright guys, welcome back to Let's Play Rune Factory 2, a Fantasy Harvest Moon. Last episode was like half of a day and like the full day before that or something. I, I don't... I think it was like just like 24, 24 full hours. And it, it, it was it was fine, but today's a bit bigger, a bit more important. I'm gonna do one thing, give me just a second. Okay. So we pet Kane again, and now he is up to five. Interesting. Because that puts him up to 193. Okay, time to ship some things. First off, these giant's fingernails I got last night. Uh, I'll show in a moment where I got them, but the massive fingernail of a giant offers a tough, hard material. I'll ship, uh... This level 5, just for inventory space. In addition to that, we're going to ship a hard horn, a jagged saw-like horn. Also has a chiming spotted pattern. Was there anything else I wanted to ship? No? Nothing? Okay, perfect. First things first, I want to water these. That way I have them for later. Ow. And now... So this is one of the giants that I was fighting last night. Why would it target the guy on the right like that? Oh, and we got a root from that. Also, apparently the oranges are up here, which is nice, but I just didn't realize it. Okay, so I yeah, we needed to defeat three Death Stalkers. I think we only defeated one, so uh, tonight, I guess. The auto target on that is really annoying. Now if we head up here, this is where I got a lot of them from. This giant right here. Now there were more oranges here. And Kane is taking one damage from these enemies. He's overpowered as all crap. Oh. Nope. I interacted with it, but okay. What does it say? This spring flower grows by soaking up the moon's rays. Bring me six of them. Oh, we actually have those at home. Perfect. A moon flower? Wait. Do we have them all? I think I'm... I did grow them, right? If not, then I, I guess I'll start growing them today. Good thing I came here. So that is the end of this path currently. I'll check to see whether or not I have any. Children. Morning. Morning, Arya. Your dad can do anything, Arya. He's a really clever guy. Just this stuff, yeah. Well, I can't stand any more lessons. I want to play outside. I don't, I'm not trying to talk to you. I'm trying to talk to literally anyone else. Every day is such a blast. So fun. Morning. Morning, Arya. I have a feeling that something very important is written on this tablet. I'm going to see if I can find out anything out. It looks like we have all the pieces of the tablet now. Do you like school, Aria? Let's take a lesson. Alright, let's begin the class. Okay, we're not going to do them in order. Because when looking at it, they're not all in order from the looks of it. The making snacks that was here before isn't there. Did I make a mistake? Is that why some... I second guess all this now. Where can we go to clothing accessories? We'll start today's lesson with an accessory for the ears. That's right, an earring. To start, we'll need some gold. We'll need another gold, actually. The next ingredient is giant's gloves. 
Next, add a whittled down magic crystal. Then, mix in some magic powder. Finally, add a bowl horn. Did you understand? Next up is a pin. Start with some iron. This is used to make the base of the pin. Next, add a broken hilt. Next is a shoulder piece. This is still too large as is, so cut it down to make it smaller. Then, add a fish fossil. Next, add some gunpowder. That's right, gunpowder. That's not dangerous. Finally, use a wolf fang to make the needle, and you're finished. Next is a pier steering. It makes a subtle fashion statement. Start with some iron. Next, add some silver. Actually, we need another piece of silver next. Then, add some gold. Next, add some magic powder to turn the earring green. Finally, polish it with some fur and you're finished. Next up is an amazing headband. Let's learn how to make a handsome hachimaki. This uses a lot of cloth, so get ready. Start with a cheap bandage. Next, add some quality cloth. Use some strong string to make it into a headband shape. Next, add some sparkle string. Then, use giant's gloves. They're tough and hard to whip tear. Finally, use a bit of cloth from a hood, and you're finished. Perfect. You want me to repair a magic book for you? That shouldn't be a problem. However, you'll need to bring me both the book you want repaired and the missing page. I can repair the missing pages in order. That's fine. All right, let's begin the class. Yeah, that disappeared. Which would imply that we were making mistakes on some of these? Maybe it's because I wasn't doing them from top-down order? I'm not sure. I'll have to test that in the future, and future Gabe may have the answers here. I'm not sure. Uh, who knows? Travel tools. Today we'll make tools that are useful when you're traveling. First, use a fur sleeping bag. All you need to do is make a small fleece. All you need to make this is a small fleece. Next is some healing medicine, a healing potion. Start with an empty bottle. Next, grind up a medicinal herb. Oh, and some pool grass too. Finally, grind up some green grass, then dissolve it all in water. Did you understand my instructions? This is the last one, a mystery potion. Ooh, sounds mysterious. This also needs an empty bottle first. Next, grind up a medicinal herb. Then some blue grass. Grind up some green grass next. Finally, add some honey to finish it off and add a touch of sweetness. Did you understand? Yes, I did. Alright. Now, rather than try to dungeon or do anything fancy... Alright. It's time for a bargain. Now, we want the large kitchen. A large kitchen? This will really expand your repertoire. I'll sell it for 5,000 G. We could also buy... I should have done it in order, but... A small kitchen for 1000 I wouldn't recommend it, as you probably have the money and it's just worth doing the large to begin with. Thanks for coming. I'll have some new items in before you know it. Come again soon. Okay, so we're going to want the pharmacy. A pharmacy? You can make all kinds of remedies with this. I'll set for 3000 G. The Forge and Workshop. A Forge Workshop? You've got to have this to make weapons and accessories. I'll sell for 7,000 G. Thanks for coming. There we go. So, a bit costly, but no problem for us. And now, after a million years, we're ready. We have so much stuff to do now. Also, I realize I never showed this off. It's a record player. 
Oh. Ah, this song makes me feel relaxed. <laughs> oh, it doesn't keep it playing? Ah, this song makes me feel relaxed. That's lame. It should just keep it playing. Okay. Um. I've got to do it all. You know I got to do it all. I probably will not do all the weapons because they still don't have that first ship list or anything. Thank, you know, who everyone. Thank the devs. Let's take a look at this real quick. Now. Because we've been doing a bunch of the things, we can actually do the recipes in here. You know them already, because you've learned them in class. Incredibly helpful. Now, let's say I wanted to do the... Tin Water Pot. We know what it's gonna cost us. But we don't have it on us. I came here to buy. So, we're gonna buy a broadsword, as we need one for crafting. Um, I don't think we need anything else here for what I want. Now, if we come in here, and we take our newly purchased broadsword, and we put it in here all by itself, let's try to make it. Success. Now, the broadsword is level 2 and has attack of 12, uh, 11. Let's do it again. This time, we go to the broadsword upgrade. Level 4 is what it requires. All it requires is the broadsword. We have 73% chance of success, and it has just free. It's free experience. This is why you need the rune points immediately. Because this is how we're gonna grind at first. Failure. Oh, failure again. Well. So it's level three now and has 14 attacks, so I gained three more. Success. Skill level increase. Yeah, so our broadsword is now 20 attack instead of 8. I'm gonna keep going. I fail a lot for somebody who has an 82% success rate. Whatever. And then I point that out. Now, I believe that makes us level 10, 35 attack. Not bad, not bad. I think level 10 is the max you can get it. We'll give it another shot real quick. Oh. Skill level increased. Did it... No, okay, it sits at level 10. That's fine. That has put us up to forging level 3. So, not a bad start. We got a good weapon. A level 10 broadsword is enough to take care of most things right now. That is, let's see. We probably don't have good odds of this currently, but if we upgrade our shield... And we're out of rune points, so give me a minute. And for the sake of testing... 45 damage, not bad. We could absolutely be better right now. But is it necessary to be better? Is it because I want to be better? Or because it would be fun to be better? That kind of thing. Like, this thing has 7 attack, and we were using it against the first boss of the game. So, since we have 5 times that attack, we should be able to take on the second boss of the game, is my logic. I might not be right, but we'll give it a shot later. I did it. Cool. So the defense has cre uh, increased up to three now. 
Not bad. We're gonna keep going with that, though. What are the odds of succeeding? The small shield upgrade. The odds are 46%. Not bad, but not good. I don't mind wasting RP. Heck yeah. Okay, so we were at three defense before, and now we're up to four defense, so one more defense per level. It's a good way to grind up the skill level, because now... We're almost to level four. To increase our odds of succeeding, I'm actually going to upgrade this again. There we go. We, we now have a 55%, so let's try this. So after a few more successes, we're actually coming up on level 5 now. It's a bit slow going currently, but it's free. There we go, level 5. Now, theoretically, that should be like, what, 64%? Yeah, 64. It's a 9% each level. Okay, with one success and one failure, we're almost halfway there. Heck yeah. Okay, what level are we now? Level 8. So this can go up to 11. Skill level increased. So that should be 73% chance of success now. There we go. And that should be level 10. Perfect. We are a lot buffer than we were previously. Setting up 40 defense and 57 attack. Now, that isn't to say you should just use this equipment. Give me just one moment. If you come to Tanya's shop, you can see the broadsword, which was our original one, then the steel sword, and then the defender. Defender at level 1 has 18. If it were to go up at the same ratio of 3, that means that has a max attack of 48, which is not bad. But I don't know that that's true. It might be even more than that. We can test that. If you want to, you could shovel out the 10k and you could do this. Or, I can show you how to just upgrade to the Defender. We're not going to be doing that today, but pretty soon we probably will be. I also want to check this. So this has a defense of 4. We have a defense of 11, I believe it is, on our current one. So that would upgrade at least 14, if not higher. Good to know, good to know. Let's keep buffing up higher, though. Now if we come over here, we can make accessories. We have a lot of accessories we could work on. Like, we could upgrade our Hachimaki. It requires a bronze, and that's absolutely something that's an offer. Uh, an option, I mean. For now, though. If we do this all by itself... It upgrades the defense from 4 to 5. Now, the charm upgrade. 19% chance. Not very great. Now if we come in here, take two bronze and an iron. Now this is a bit more expensive. But if we take the cheap bracelet and two iron... I'm actually out of energy, apparently. We're going to take this cheap bracelet, this hard horn, this bronze, and this bronze, and hope this works out for us. No, of course not. Success! The bronze bracelet. There we go. It only gives two defense, and it's quite heavy, but it's not as good as our Hachimaki, which is actually still a really good item, but it's nearly comparable and it's way easier to upgrade than the Hachimaki is. We could use this. I was just getting a bit of XP, getting my accessory level almost to three. Now there are a few ways that I could recommend doing this. 
honestly, if you're willing to just burn through as much RP as possible, use your charm. I'm gonna keep doing that. Oh! Uh, I, I was about to sit back and start drinking some of my orange juice. Okay. Well, um, awesome. That's another half level, and what are the odds of succeeding with that again? 37% now. Alright, time to drink. That should put me almost to level 6, yep. Okay, we have another shot at this. And we succeeded! Level 9, with 12 defense. That is already looking so much better. So, so much better. We're currently sitting at 48 defense, 57 attack. We're not quite there yet. Okay. Now that we're at this level, we have a 64% chance. Not bad. Almost 2 out of 3. And that is it. So, I guess I'm going to keep burning through RP for now. I want my accessories to be grand and fantastic. Just for testing's sake, if I put two silver in, can I do it? The answer is no, but let's give it a few more shots. Yeah, from the looks of it, it's not going to do it currently, so... Okay, that should increase my odds now. There we go. Silver bracelet done. Now, the silver bracelet is kind of like the bronze bracelet, but just better. A silver bracelet simply slipping on your arm raises both your strength and defense. So, yeah. Where. Let's see. It actually has one more strength than the bronze bracelet and one more defense. So, just a straight up upgrade. Pretty nice. I'm sure it doesn't compare, but let's see how it would compare. It would give me three more attack, minus 12 defense. Yeah, so not worth using for now. But, you know, still nice. Still a nice option. I could start sacrificing a bunch of silver to power level using this, as it is a level 16 recipe. And I'm only level 8. But... Eh... I'll keep with the charm for now, I guess. I don't know, man. I do have to check, though. If I check the silver bracelet, it is a level 16 to make and level 22 to upgrade. It actually costs 2 silver to upgrade as well. Yeah, I only have a 28% chance of making it. How much to... Zero? Yeah, zero percent chance to upgrade it, that sounds about right. And yet I have an 82% chance with the charm. It actually costs 5 RP every time I succeed, and I believe 10 if I fail. Let's just that raise it by. So it's currently at the end of the sea, right before, I mean, pretty much the end of the sea. Full letter. Look, um, if I were to look at the silver bracelet, I have a 37% chance at this rate. Okay, so at this point it's worth burning through silver, because it's almost half a bar. Okay, now if I go down, the iron hammer. Old hammer, bronze, bronze, iron. Let's do it. The Iron Hammer success. Now what are the odds of succeeding with a silver hammer? 
73%. That's not bad, actually. Okay, not bad. There we go. That probably gave me a bunch of experience as well. So now I have a silver hammer, which is equatable, I guess, to the original hammer that I had during the first generation. But I think it might be able to get better stuff. I think this one might be able to get gold. I'm not sure, but I'm, I, I'm pretty sure, actually. Yeah, I'm, I'm pretty sure that one can get gold. So it's a better hammer from the first gen. Yeah, so let's do this one now. Success. All right, the lumber axe. We need one bronze, two iron, and a chopping axe. Do I have the iron? I do not have it on me. I'm actually out. Hmm. Alright, let's see how I do on this screen. Now... Real quick. Oh. So Kane, of course, is still more powerful than I am. But if I use the silver hammer... I'll keep that for now. I'm thinking that this screen is mostly just scrap. There's a little bit of iron, but yeah, these rocks don't have great odds. Or maybe I'm just really unlucky. Yeah, it seems like it might just be a luck thing. Skill up. Just to prove that I can charge it up to that much. There you go. I got a little bit more bronze and iron, so we need to head back. After all, it is lunchtime. Today we're having a... Today you're having a baked rice ball. Yes! Perfect. Uh, let's hang out with Barrett for a moment. Barrett! I want to learn! I want to learn twice. So hammers, axes, and sickles. So we finished number two, but we did not finish number one. Which I guess means that we like, did it in the wrong order or whatever. It doesn't clarify that, so that's frustrating. Our first lesson of the day will be on making a golden hammer, so let's begin. First things first, you'll need a silver hammer. Then a silver. You gotta start with the basic parts. Then another silver. That should be okay. Next, use some gold to make the head of the hammer. Next comes more gold. Don't be stingy with it. Last thing you'll need is gold. Last thing you'll add is gold and it'll be done. Now you're gonna have to learn how to make a mountain axe. Make a lumber axe ahead of time. You need it to begin. Then you'll need a silver. One more silver. After that comes a gold. Be sure to be to make the blade well or you'll be sorry later. Then another gold. The last comes gold. Then just sharpen it, you'll be done. The last thing we'll be learning about is a super sickle. The first thing you need is a quality sickle. Then it's basically the same as the last thing. Add silver. Add another silver. Keep track of it. You keeping track of everything? Next is gold. Then more gold. If you don't do this right, it'll break. Add some gold, sharpen it, and you're good to go. Time to start playing. Let's see. Yeah, sure enough, that actually gets rid of it if you do it from top down. You have to do it from top down. That's a choice, I guess. <laughs> let's do this one as well. Today is the last day for farming tools, so let's start with a platinum hammer. The first thing you'll need is a golden hammer. Then, you'll need gold. Some sparkle string for decoration. Then a platinum to finish off the shaft. Then you should add a platinum. Remember, you're making the head for a hammer, so make sure it's not gonna crack. After that, you'll need a platinum and you'll be all set. 
Now, I'll tell you how to make the very useful Miracle Axe. First, make a Mountain Axe. Then, you'll need a Gold. After that, add a Platinum. Then, add another Platinum. You're almost done. Then, use a Platinum to try and balance out the weights. It'll be tough for you to carry, so you might want to try making it lighter with a Wooly Furball. Now we'll teach you to make the best sickle there is, a legend sickle. First, you'll need a super sickle. Then, you'll need an arrowhead. Am arrowhead. Okay. <laughs> you should get some really good to sharpen it for you. You should get someone really good to sharpen it for you. It'll pay off. Next, you'll need a gold. After that, add some platinum. You'll need a bunch of it. Then, one more platinum. Be sure to make it sharp. Then add another Platinum and you'll be done. I have a feeling that something very important is written on this tablet. Yeah, okay. Alright, class dismissed. See you all tomorrow. I don't have anything to talk about. Alright, there's nothing to talk about with him. At all. I crossed the child! I'm pretty sure we can't, but... Let's see... The Golden Hammer. 37%. We need to work on other recipes for now. Okay, Silver. Bronze. Iron. Iron. Success. Because that is a higher level one, we do get more XP for it. We're almost level 7 in forging, though. How hard would it be to make a steel sword at this point? 73% chance. And upgrading it would only be a 28% chance. It would cost one iron, though we don't have much iron, so we'll wait on that. So I'd recommend actually focusing on your tools quite a bit right now. Because they are a good free experience. So, while I want to do my fishing rod, I don't have the wood on me. Should I go grab it? Let's see. I could. F the water pot's really good to focus on, though. Three bronze. I have enough bronze to do both, I believe. So, let's do both. One old water pot, and three bronze. So, we need some RP as well as just stuff for my chest. Oh, I actually have another iron in here. Perfect. I thought I had more bronze was the thing. I must have run out of space for it and had to sell it. That's rather unfortunate. So, we'll have to work on some of that stuff later, but I guess I can just do this. There we go. Alright, um... It's suicidal, but let's do this. Oh. Ouch. Like I said, not the best move, but one we could handle. So I don't remember where most of the mining spots there are, but instead we'll be heading over here to Machina Valley. Hey, Arya! Oh, I guess it's because we'd already triggered the... Bless you. Hey, guys. It's, it's pretty dangerous in here, Arya. Are you sure it's okay? Are you sure it's okay for you to be in here? Do you like danger, Arya? You seem to like the. You seem to like danger, Arya. Cammy, you said to keep this a secret. Hey, I didn't tell anyone of uh, the teachers. Yeah, don't worry. We haven't said a thing. But you guys, there's no need to waste any 
time pointing fingers anyway, is there? Quest, the more of us that know, the more people can help you out if anything happens. Well, keep it a secret from everyone's parents, okay? We will. Promise! Okay, let's tackle Machina Valley together, then. I'm sorry, I have to go alone. It really is too dangerous. But you've fought alone before. With more people, it'll be safer, right? I don't think so. I can't really explain it, but I feel like... I don't know, like, fighting comes naturally to me. Almost like I inherited it from my father. What? What are you talking about? Talent, that's what, Kyle. Kyle was pretty strong, too, now that I think about it. My dad was strong? Yeah, he didn't look all that tough at all, but when it came down to it, he could surprise you. Dad... You really do take after your father, don't you, Arya? I guess I do. Come on, then, Roy. We're only gonna get in the way here. Let's head back. Alright, but you be careful out there, Arya, okay? You can always run away if things get too dangerous. Yeah, I know. Thank you. <sighs> Take a good sip of my uh, tea. And then get going. This is our first time actually, you know, spending time in here. So I believe if I head up here... Yeah, so this was our normal mining spot during the first gen. Oh, nice. Get got. But if we head over here now instead... Yep, sure enough. So these are new kinds of goblins, as you might expect. I think these are hobgoblins. And I'm not going to be able to fight them. But Kane can. Kane is a total bamp. Alright. Broadsword equipped. Ruby obtained. I didn't mean to press that. Uh, it's fine. We're mostly done in here, probably. I don't know. I'll tell myself that. <laughs> Kane's just not doing hot in there. Takes damage. Unlike on Blessia. Okay. Oh, I'm poisoned. Wait, the hitbox was... The hitbox on the wolves is bad. You'll randomly touch poison areas that are nowhere near you, so don't ride your wolves around them. It's, it's not good. Hey, will you finish that for me? Thank you. So, I kind of want to focus, if at all possible, on trying to get up uh, my forging skill pretty fast. Because I want a gold hammer. If I can start getting the better stuff more often than the uh, scrap iron, then, you know, I'm all for doing that. So, was there any here? No? Okay. Pretty sure I got all of these right. Yes, yes I did. Okay, were there any more mining rocks? Mining time. Alright. We still have Blessia to explore, but... I'll do that later today. For now, we should be able to keep crafting. Forging time! Okay, our old pole. Two bronze and the wood I got from my wood stack. Success. Which I figured it would. Alright, our water pot, a silver, a bronze, and two iron. Success, the wine water pot. Skill level increase. Okay. Now. The bronze bracelet. A bronze bracelet. Raises defense a little. Quite heavy. And the silver bracelet. A silver bracelet. Simply slipping onto your arm raises both your strength and defense. We'll be shipping these two since I made them. And then I'm going to head out and start... Oh, wait. Uh, before we go, I need 
One more wood. We take the beginner's pole, the wood, two iron, and the silver. We have an 82% chance of making the intermediate pole. We're almost level 10. 46% chance isn't bad. Let's do it. We take our silver hammer, three gold and two silver for a 46% chance at failure. Once again, failure. And logically this one would succeed. Success! The golden hammer, reinforced with gold, now super tough. It can power, it can powder large rocks as well as be used to flatten land. This is even better than the hammer we used originally. Great stuff. We love to see that. Okay. Now, there's one. There's two. Level up. Nice. Mining time. And now I'm just pretty much getting all good stuff. No longer getting a bunch of scrap iron. If you want to get scrap iron, you can get the Warhammer from Tanya. And she'll be able to, you know, you'll be able to use that to get more. But it's not useful for anything we're doing. We also have a few stacks of it, so. So starting tomorrow, we can get a lot. I threw that away instead of picking up. We can get a lot of really good stuff. And that'll be great. I was trying to. Ah! Inputs in the wrong order. Fine, I guess. Need that green grass. So we need the moon drops for those. Oh, we actually got paralyzed. So we need the moon drops for those other ones, and that's not going to happen right now. So we're just going to walk off this paralysis, as you do with paralysis. You just walk it off. Okay, it's after 6 p.m. now, so we should be able to get Deathstalkers. And our weapon can finally damage these things. If I could hit them. You know what? Line water pot. I know, peering right on top of me, kind of a crappy thing. You know what? We don't need to fight these. I don't know why I'm bothering. If I keep it busy. I defeated three Deathstalkers. There we go. And that's, you know, all the stuff we care about here. We don't have to come back here for right now. Okay. What? Obtain the blue stone tablet fragments. Well then, let's keep going. Perfect. Exactly what I needed. So much copper. And iron. Oh. Uh... Oh no, it's all different levels. Oh, no! Okay, let's toss this. I forgot that they do come in different ranks and everything. Which is the worst decision. Like, with the limited amount of space and everything. Uh... 
I can buy the grasses. That's how I have to look at it. I don't mind spending a little bit of money. No. What does it say? A quiz of four questions. Answer all correct and you win a stone tablet. Question one. What is the name of the event in the fourth week of summer? Uh, I have my calendar up on the other monitor. Give me just a second. This is incorrect! <laughs> ah, is it the dance festival, the harvest festival, the flower festival, or the fishing contest? The correct answer would technically be the fishing contest, but that's wrong. What? The fourth week. The fourth week. Got it. I'm dumb. I'm, I don't know how to count. It is the dance festival. Okay, so this would be wrong, and we'll get to that during the summer, but who cares? Dance festival. Well done, that's correct. The event is in the fourth week of summer is the dance festival. Now, the next question. Question two. This one is easy. Which of these cannot be grown in summer? The tomato, corn, onion, or eggplant? The onion. Well done, that's correct. Onion is the answer as they can only be grown in spring. Now the next question. Question three. Fireflies can be seen in the summer. What time at night do they normally come out? 6 p.m., 7 p.m., 10 p.m., 1 a.m. 10 p.m., I believe that... Yeah, there's no 9 p.m., so it would be 10 p.m. I thought it was 9 p.m., though. Well done, that's correct. They start to appear at 10 p.m. Now the next question. Two monsters can be found at Blessy Island Clifftop during the day. They are Flower Lion and... Goblin Dawn, Chip Squeak, Troll, Goblin Gangster. My brain says it's the Goblin Dawn. I haven't, like, gone over all these in a while. I think it's this one. Well done, that's correct. Goblin Dawn is the answer. Good job, take this. You think you could take me? Don't forget me! Huh, that was easy. Oh. What does this say? Till all the fields at Blessy Island south uh, Southeast Beach. All of them? Isn't that a lot? Panther Fang. I don't need more of those. Alright. For now, we're done here. So, Southeast Beach. Ah... Uh... So this is South Beach, that would mean that it's this one right here. That's not that bad. That's doable right now. Like yeah, waste of energy and stuff, but who cares, let's do it. So the smart thing would be to have upgraded your uh, sickle and your hoe and just real quick take care of this. So that's what I would recommend to all of you if you want to play along. I'm just too lazy to go all the way there and back. <laughs> Riding through the 90s. It's disappearing. Obtain the blue stone tablet fragment. Well then, let's keep exploring. Here we go. So, like we already know, what does it say? Spring flower goes, yeah, moon's rays. So, oh, hello, friends. There we go. Stop those guys from spawning. And now, time to reap the rewards. Level 4 iron, huh? Let's get rid of the green grass. The final one. What does it say? Only those who can bring low the Lord of the Waves may enter. What's that supposed to mean? So, yeah, we've already taken care of uh, all of them except for this one and the one for beating the boss. Nice. And while I did say that at some point we'd be taking care of the boss, we're not going to do it today. Does this teleport me home, or does it teleport me back here? 
It teleports me home. Cool. So while we didn't do a huge amount today, this recording has been going on for, give me just a moment to check how long, uh, a grand total of 1 hour, 53 minutes, and 25 seconds thus far. It's going on a bit longer than I'd really intended to, so we're going to cut it here. Um, actually, real quick, one last thing. Just because I want to show any new stuff that I do, and I do want credit for this stuff, we're going to use one iron, followed by another iron, followed by a bronze, and a rusty hoe. The thing we should have done earlier. Success. Now if we use a silver, two iron, a bronze, and that sturdy hoe of ours, skill of increased. Out of curiosity, before we go on to the next item, the Platinum ha Hammer of 19%. We don't have Sparkle String, and that's the only reason why I'm not doing this tonight. Because we could buy the Platinum. Oh, man, do I want to do this. We could buy the Platinum. It would be a huge waste of money. But we could absolutely do this. And we could make the best hammer. And we could start getting all the best items. Soon. Very soon we will do this. Very, very soon. We will take our sickle and three iron to make the iron sickle. Sickle, silver, bronze, and two iron to have a 91% chance of making the quality sickle. We take the lumber axe, two silver, and three gold. We have a 55% chance of making... I said we have a 55% chance of making the Mountain Axe. Thank you. Now that we have access to better iron, I'm very tempted to just upgrade straight to the Steel Sword. You know, I, I'll wait until next episode. Next episode, we'll give it a shot. We'll give the boss fight with the current sword a shot just to prove it. And then we may upgrade straight either to the Steel Sword or up to Defender or another adjacent of it. So for now, I think we're done with this. I'm actually going to spend the rest of my energy for the day and the rest of my time grinding up my skill and accessories and maybe some in the weapon stuff. Just, you know, the off-screen stuff of repeating, upgrading the same thing over and over and over again. Nothing you guys will care about. So guys, next time on Let's Play Rune Factory 2, we're probably going to do some questing. Most importantly, yeah, tomorrow is UA's birthday. Just, hello, UA. Let's actually do a birthday for once. <laughs> and then there's the boss. See you all next time, and I hope you all have a fantastic day. Goodbye.